Hello, welcome to my Tasker Tutorials, today I am going to show you how to use Tasker to take photos quickly and easily. We are going to create a shortcut to a task, when you click on it, it'll open the camera app, take a photo and then close the app. So go ahead and open Tasker, you can create this task anywhere you want, I will create it in the Home tab. Make sure that you are in the Task tab, then hit the plus sign and give this task a name, I will call it Quick Cam. Click OK when you are done. Then click the plus sign. Select Media and then select Take a Photo. Leave the rear camera as the default one, you need to enter a file name, any name that you want, I will enter QuickCam for a file name. Change the naming sequence to either chronological or series, if you leave it on none, it will overwrite the older photo and end up with only the newest one. You can insert the photo in the gallery if you want and select discrete, to use it as a spy camera, in which the flash and the shutter sound will be turned off. You can change the resolution if you like by clicking the search icon and selecting the one you want. I am going to leave everything else as is, you can play with it and select the best options for your phone camera. Click the back arrow, and then exit Tasker. Create a shortcut to this task on the home screen, press and hold, then select Tasker from the list, and select Tasker Shortcut. Select the task Quick Cam, which is highlighted with an arrow. Select an icon for it by clicking the bottom right icon set, select an icon pack, scroll down the icon list and pick an icon. Click the back arrow. That is it. You are done. Any time that you click the shortcut, the camera app will open. The camera will focus and snap a photo and all you have to do is aim the camera. To find your photos, Look for them in the gallery if you selected that option in Tasker. Or go to your file browser, look for the folder called DCIM, and you will find your images in the Tasker folder. From here you can share them, move them to other folders, or whatever you want. I hope that you liked this video, drop me a note in the comments if you have any questions about this video. Please do not forget to subscribe and vote thumbs up. Thanks for watching.